Even them that contend with thee. With thee. Those that are fighting you right now. God said you're going to seek them and not be able to find them. And this time that, that God is talking about is fastly approaching. Because the appointment has been set. Somebody said the appointment has been set. The appointment has been set. Even them that contend with thee, watch this, they that war against thee shall be as what? Nothing. As nothing. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of what? Not. God said, I'm going to bring your enemies to Noah. I'm going to shut down their enterprises. I'm going to confound them. I'm going to confuse them. Because you're my choice. Somebody said, doors are opening for me right now. Doors are opening for me right now. Verse 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Somebody said, I'm God's choice. I'm God's choice. Somebody said, I'm God's choice. I'm God's choice. The things that are, that are about to be revealed in your life <laughs> is going to cause confusion. Oh, Jesus. Mm. The things that God is about to deliver to you in this season, the anointing that is about to take over your life is going to cause some haters to be birthed.
I feel the Holy Ghost. God say, I'm giving you supernatural access. I'm giving you the keys. I'm giving you the privilege to access what belongs to heaven. Somebody say, I'm God's choice. Somebody say, I'm unstoppable. I'm, say, I refuse to be denied. I'm, say, I'm going after everything God's got for me. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care if you say I'm not saved and I'm not qualified. You go to God with that. Or I'm going to enjoy the blessings of God that is overtaking my life right now. I'm going to enjoy the reign of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody just give God. Thank you, Lord. I'm open rivers and high places. And fountains in the midst of the valleys. Watch this now. Somebody say fountain. Fountains. In the valley. In the valley. Fountains. Fountains. In the valley. In the valley. God said, right in your dry season, I'm gonna cause the fountain to appear. Some of you are this close. From a divine shift oh, God. in your life. Mm. Don't faint. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Find consistent praise and consistent worship. He said, I will make the wilderness. Watch this. I want you to read this. I will make the wilderness a what? A pool of water. In other words, he said, right where you're going through, and everyone that has seen you, that I've seen you go through, he said, I'm going to open a pool right in their midst. And I'm going to cause you to experience the overflow. I'm going to cause you to experience the increase of God. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs Somebody says, my season now. It's my season now. Say, my God. My God. Is opening up. Is opening up. The heavens. The heavens. Above me. Above me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My God is turning my midnight today. into day. Hallelujah. My God yes. is undoing what the enemy has done yes. to me. Yes. My God is healing every wound and every scar that I experience in the fiery furnace. The blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My God is causing me to forget yeah. the pain I've been yeah. going through. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. My God is causing me to forget the, 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 the pain and the, the, the mishandling that I went through. My God is shifting my season. I feel God in here. Glory to God. Somebody said, God is shifting my season. I feel God in here. This is literally happening to some people in here tonight. God is shifting your season. You're going to be so happy tomorrow because God is getting ready to give you breakthroughs after breakthroughs after breakthroughs. God is getting ready to turn things in your favor. Glory to God. Touch somebody and say, I'm moving about with this. I'm, I'm, I'm moving out of Lodiba. I'm coming out of Egypt. I'm coming out of this struggle. I'm coming out of this disappointment. I'm coming out of this pain. I'm coming out of this mistreatment. I'm coming out of this mishandling, this mis misfortune. I'm coming out of this because God is calling me now to a wealthy place. Anybody ready for a wealthy place? Hear what Paul says. He said, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the things that God has never made with my name with it on it. Hallelujah. Can I just tell you this? That's why some people refuse to hang around you. That's why some people, they just don't like your company. Because when they get in your presence, they don't see wealth, but they can feel wealth. I feel the Holy Ghost. They don't see greatness, but they can feel greatness. That's why some people can't deal with you. They, they don't 
can see the overflow, but they can feel the overflow. They can sense that it's only a matter of God's time before God lifts you up above your enemies. Do I have about four persons who will open your mouth and say, don't blame me. Blame the God I serve. I feel the Holy Ghost. Tell somebody, say, God is about to shut their mouths. God's about to quiet them down. He's about to silent them. He's about to, he's about to knock them out. He's about to knock them out. Get ready to go to my last verse. Some years ago, I said, long time I was watching, I was watching a boxing match. Mike Tyson, and I think it was uh, Buster Douglas. That's the name of the guy. And uh, me and um, one Mr. Cooper, the manager of, of Commonwealth Bank, we were sitting down watching it, and and um, Tyson was just beating on Buster Douglas. <laughs> and boy, I was right there. Come on, Tyson! Come on! Come on! Come on! And I'm looking at him and I'm laughing. Then all of a sudden, when the fight made it to the sixth round, Tyson was fighting, and Buster Douglas catch him a blow. And my friend, Mr. Cooper, said, You're quiet now. <laughs> You're quiet now. Touch your person and say, They're quiet now. They're quiet now. They quiet me now. But when you were catching all those blows in the first and the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth round, they thought that you were going to get knocked out. So see, they thought that was the end of you. They thought that you were finished. The last news that they heard about you and the last thing that was said about you, they were certain that your days came to an end. But tell somebody's neighbor, the sixth round is when so you gotta watch out for my God. I feel like preaching him. Glory to God. And Mr. Cooper said to me, he said, you're quiet now. And when he said, you're quiet now, when I turned back into TV, Mike Tyson was made flat on his back and his mouthpiece was outside of the ring. Can I speak this to you? God is going to lay your enemies flat on their back and their mouthpiece is going to be outside the ring. In other words, they ain't going to be able to talk about you no more. They ain't going to be able to lie about you no more. Because God is going to silence like feel like running to God. Somebody lay your head back and say God is about to knock
Can I take my time with this? Yeah. That they may see. That they may know. Yeah. And that they may consider. That I'm God's choice. That they may see. That they may know. And that they may consider. And not just consider. Minister Rover. That they may understand. Oh, my God. 